basically if you show everyone what authoritarian assholes the government are being that's going to make a lot more people want to join the fight and try and resist it because basically it's a case of you know what happened to me can now happen to anyone the courts get to decide what your thoughts and intentions are and can convict you over their bad faith interpretation like that's stalinist <laughs> to be perfectly honest I've had the conversation loads of times, it's just uh, taught my girlfriend's dog to a Nazi salute for a joke, uh, got arrested for it and found guilty of hate crime. Sounds ridiculous every time you say it. You know? No, no, I never, I never expected to have the cops turn up at my door, I never expected to be dragged through the media, I never expected any of that. Yeah. Absolutely, we'd do it again. Yeah, I think it does, basically. If you show everyone what authoritarian assholes the government are being, that's going to make a lot more people want to join the fight and try and resist it. Because basically it's a case of, you know, what happened to me can now happen to anyone. But the courts get to decide what your thoughts and intentions are and can convict you over their bad faith interpretation. Like, that's Stalinist, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Glorious, absolutely fantastic. I was, I was laughing my head off all the way through it. The man's a champion. Everyone came into the firing line. Like I don't think there was any type of group that was actually spared. He made fun of everyone, like which is what made it. Yeah, that's good. He wasn't punching up or punching down. He was punching everywhere, <laughs> in, like every direction, which is what comedy should be. It doesn't matter who or what you are. You know, you can joke about anything. Because it's basically, comedy has loads and loads of different uses, like a lot of people use it as a way of dealing with horrible situations, which I think is a lot healthier than what people usually do, and just deal with horrible situations through drink and drugs or some other kind of self-destructive behaviour. Whereas comedy is not self-destructive because you're sharing your problems with everyone and also laughing along with them. Like, comedy's a unifying thing. Which is why, but now people are trying to say that it's all about division when that's never been what that's never been what comedy's about ever. It's about making people laugh. Yeah. Well, the fact is, I can say things here, and I'm not going to get arrested for offending anyone. Like you're protected under the constitution, and ultimately, that's my goal. I want a codified British constitution that protects our rights. We need something that protects us from the government because over time, our government's just slowly but surely clawing more power and getting more... Basically, it now has the ability to interfere in so many parts of your life that it has absolutely no business being in. And that's why I want a codified British constitution. That's the thing that is funny is, see if it was any other reporter, any other reporter, like people would go, that's horrible, that's terrible, what an injustice, freedom of the press, blah, blah, blah. But then people go, oh, it was Tommy. Oh, never mind then. Uh, it's like, that, it shouldn't matter who it's happening to. You need to call out injustice wherever you see it. Even if you think the person that it happened to is an absolute piece of shit like that, you should still call out the government doing sketchy things to that person. Because see, when you clap and laugh along to the government doing it to that person, you normalize it and it means you don't get to cry when the government does it to you. You're not, you're not allowed to be in the elite journalist club. You don't say the right things, you say the wrong things, you know. It's funny how like, all the elite, you know, lefty verified journals are always harping on about, you know, oh, censor this, censor that, let's try and shut this down, let's do a hit piece on this guy. But then if you come after them, they go, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, and like, you don't give a fuck about freedom of speech, like, you only care when it happens to you. Like, man, they're snakes, they're absolute serpents. I haven't spoken to the guy in a long time. I think the last time me and him spoke was at my sentencing. No, and he was just basically saying, he was making jokes to me going, have you packed your prison bag and all that stuff? I was like, fuck you, man. <laughs> like he was, he was just fucking with me and messing with me. But yeah, he was, uh, he was trying to make me laugh and sort of bring my spirits up and all that. But like, you know, after I walked out the courthouse, he congratulated me and all that, so. You know, we, 
we are we're a warning. We're a warning. Basically, yeah. Don't you know? Cherish and praise the Constitution, and don't let them take it away from you because the Constitution is the biggest enemy of authoritarians. They wanted like the Constitution is a form of protection against authoritarian governments because I mean that was the entire reason that America wanted to become its own independent country to get the hell away from Britain, and now. You know, slowly but surely it's happening over here because useful idiots on the left are pushing for it. Because these get these dickheads honestly believe that they're gonna be the boot and not the neck. Hindsight's 2020. <laughs> hey, can you do me a favor? Can you make sure that you're subscribed to the Rebel on YouTube? It really helps us out. We don't get any government funding like the CBC or the rest of the mainstream media. So when you subscribe to us, it helps us keep you up to date with the latest news.